Welcome back. Republican presidential candidate Jeb Bush unveiling his plan to revamp America's tax code in a Wall Street Journal op-ed today. The Bush plan centers on the principle of three lower personal income tax rates and one 20 percent corporate tax rate nationwide. Joining me now to talk more about it, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani joining the conversation. Mr. Mayor, great to see you. Good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. So Jeb Bush getting more specific about what he would do. What's your take on this tax plan op-ed? Obviously an improvement over the one that we have. I uh, proposed a tax plan somewhat similar, except I had two rates and no corporate tax. Mm. And I also had the option of filing um, a one-page form if you wanted to take a, a flat rate. So really what I wanted to do was to transition our economy to a flat rate I don't think you can do that in one year. So the idea was we'll start with two rates. If you want to fill out the big form, take all the deductions, you can do that. But if you want to take the flat rate, you just file a one-page form and you pay that, you pay that tax. Ultimate goal being uh, basically Forbes fl- uh, flat tax, mm-hmm. which I think would be the, the very, very best thing. I, I don't know why this has been so difficult. I mean, it, this <laughs> is the one subject that everybody agrees on. We need to see tax reform. Yep. And yet, and, and if it's corporate taxes, why can't they just lower corporate taxes? Well, I, you know, I think uh, uh, cor- uh, corporate ta- uh, just the, the, you don't need a corporate tax. What do, you need, what do you need a corporate tax for? You're taxing the money anyway. I mean, taxing the money as income, you're taxing it in other ways. Uh, uh, you're taxing it through the in- individual salaries. So, I mean, a corporate ta- the corporate tax reduction, if you're going to have it, should be at least a 15 percent, maybe 10 percent. Imagine that, what, that, what that would do in terms of, of competition yeah. if we had a 10. Yeah, we have one 15%. of the highest cor- corporate tax rates in the, in the free world. I think world. it's the right. highest. The highest. The highest. The highest. Right. The highest. It, just, it just became the highest. And, and then you wonder why businesses flee. What? Well, because... <laughs> they, and they acquire other they companies like and taxes. they go and... Uh, they go, they go as, you, as you all know, public companies are constructed for the purpose of making a profit for the stockholders. If you don't take advantage of the tax laws, right. you're, you're violating your fiduciary duties to the stockholders. And uh, left-wing uh, liberal thinkers don't understand that. Yeah. They don't understand but, that you have to make a profit. But, Mayor, let's talk about something practical, because you and I see it the same way. Maybe many of us on the panel see it the same way. But there's a group of people in our country that don't see it the way we see it. And so where do you think we can meet with them somewhere in the middle uh, to get something better than what we currently have? Uh, uh, something like a... Uh, corporate tax rate of about 15 percent. I think at one time it was down to 15 percent. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think, I think that was about where it was. So even the Obama administration agrees so, with that. They uh, think they have the highest rate. So they start, want to lower you, it. You, you, the way I always negotiated tax reductions, I would say my strategy, I'd go to the city council and I'd say, I want $4 billion in tax reductions. The uh, New York Times would write an editorial about how mean, vicious, and horrible that was, was going to be for the poor, uh, how unrealistic it was. The reality was it was unrealistic. And then I settled for a $2 billion. Uh-huh. All yeah. you really wanted was $2 billion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice strategy. Well, but is this going to resonate? They figured it out after about six years, and then I had to really negotiate hard. I, I think, but it I took think, six years for them to figure it out. Does this resonate, though, Jeb Bush coming out with... I mean, we haven't seen a lot of specifics from the candidates in terms of no. real tax reform. Do you think it's going to resonate? I, I do. I do, Maria. I think directionally, you know, we could talk about on, right. the, on the fringe what's... You know, whether it's 15 or 20, I think directionally get the taxes down. Where you talked about Absolutely double right. taxation. Yeah. We pay as corporations, we pay tax. Then citizens have to pay tax on dividend. You know, why are we doing that twice? I think we will see a tremendous repatriation if corporate taxes go down. We'll see continual investment. We'll get to that 4% GDP that we need to get the jobs mm-hmm. back where they need to be. I, I think this is a great play for, for Jeb to come out with this tax plan with specifics. Can he get said. it passed, though? That's the question. Yeah. Well, again, Anthony, that, that's the point you and the mayor were talking about. I mean, there has to be some common yeah. ground. Well, right? they, think yeah. that, there? they think the common ground is actually taxing you almost passive aggressively through minimum wage. Like Hillary's going to run with this big national minimum wage mandate. And that's another, you know, that that's the does that part of the path scare you? Or, or uh, it frightens me because of. Uh, uh, my, my job when I when I was mayor was to get 1.1 million people off welfare, and I got right. 600,000 of them off welfare, 500,000 with jobs, right. 100,000 went somewhere else, I guess. Mm. And so what I was looking for were entry level jobs. Uh, if you want to, if you if, if you want to change this dependency economy that Obama has has created, I think uh, food stamps are up two and a half times. I think All the number of people mm. on dependency yeah. is up dramatically. Yeah. You, you need entry level jobs. 
you, uh, uh, if you have a high minimum wage, you lose all those entry level jobs. Mm -hmm. Right, because because business is something that's got to get. Or, or or they happen under, under the table. By Government the way, speaking to... speaking of Hillary, do you like the softer side? Is this going to work? <laughs> Uh, I, I like this. I, I like the side of Hillary in a grand jury. That's the side that I, I like. Uh, I, I would like to have Hillary in a grand jury. Uh, answering be, questions answering about Mike, the email answer, scandal and the foundation. Oh, oh, about the foundation, about the about the email scandal. Maria, you were suppressing about a laugh the there. Conflict, it was okay to let that about out. The yeah. con, about the conflict of, of interest in uh, with UBS. Uh, about how uh, de destroying more emails than you turn over mm. isn't destruction of government property. Uh, or how about the statute that says that you can be convicted of a crime if you're grossly negligent in handling sensitive government information? That's her biggest there issue. You, you read she, everything there. That, by the way, that's, that's a strict that's liability a, issue. That is a crime. Yeah. Everybody else would go to jail for it. In fact, it is a uh, scandal that it took the Justice Department this long to investigate her. Mm -hmm. They should have investigated her three months ago. If it were for a Republican politician, he'd be investigated three months ago. Mr. Mayor, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Good to see you. Rudy Giuliani, thanks. as always, we'll be right back.